How are you all doing? It's me, Tommy Renu, one, two, three, back with another custom tactics video. Guys, I know I'm, uh, I'm a bit behind on the analysis. I'll be honest with you guys, it's a bit trash for me. Um, so I apologize for that, but I'm gonna start getting those analysis videos out for you. But for now, guys, 442, make sure to like and subscribe if you are new. You know all the gist. Um, please do like and subscribe, guys. Honestly, not enough of you are subscribed. Let's get more of you subscribed. Get some friends to subscribe as well. Let's keep going, guys. 442. Um, here we are. You know, we haven't done it, um, it's been a bit more requested by some of my friends in the comment section, guys. Something is time to tackle, uh, this formation. So what we're going to be doing, guys, is we're going to be going through the defensive style first, as if you don't know how it works. How is she speaking as if I've never done this before? Guys, trust me, I know what I'm doing. 45 width, 50 depth. Now, we're going to keep a 50 depth, guys. Probably for the first time, you'll see me putting it on 50. I've changed up my logic when it comes to the 442. You know, me and 442 have a we have a very interesting relationship, me and the 442. It's a love-hate relationship. It seems to love me and keeps following me and keeps telling me to use it. But I hate it. I hate 442. <laughs> um personally I think look the 442 works extremely well. And a lot of people can make it work, and I guess I can make it work as well. I just don't have the patience for it. But if you do have the patience for the 442, this is the way to play, guys. 45 with 50 depth. Um, I prefer to be on the defensive side with the 4-4-2 because it's not a very defensively solid formation in comparison to 4-2-3-1 um, or some of the other formations. So I like to just keep it a bit more solid with the 4-4-2. So we're going to put 50 depth and 45 wood just to make sure we keep it a bit more compact in the middle, guys. Build up play, we're not going to change it. We're going to keep it balanced. Chance creation, we're going to do direct passing because that seems to work the best this year. So I'm going to keep it with that theme and I'm going to stick with it and get direct passing on. Wait. Uh, guys, once again in attack, I'm going to drop it to 45. I want to keep it a bit more tight and so I can just get the passes in, guys. The left mid, right mid like to stick outside a bit more and I don't like that. I want them to stick together. Um, players in the box, guys, we're going to have on four because we don't want to get counted. One on corners, one on free kicks because we don't want to get counted and also there's a corner glitch. So we're obviously going to have to play up to that. <laughs> Now, the two strikers, guys, as you can see, I'm putting the ball on strike because I really don't have an option here. He's good enough because of his dribbling and all the rest. But what we're going to do with the ball is we're going to get him to stay forward and that's it. Uh, meanwhile, Arnautovic is going to... Um, sorry, guys. Both of them will stay central and stay forward. Now, the reason for this is because... Look, if you have a different striker here, like a Ronaldo or something, get him on game behind. But it's Arnautovic. I'm not going to get Arnautovic on the game behind. Um, the ball, I don't want him on game behind because I want to create the plays. So, he's going to stay central, stay forward. And the other strike on stay central, stay forward. But if you have a natural striker who's also very fast, you know, your Werners and all the rest. Put them on game behind. Make them run them behind. Now, your left mid and your right mid, guys. Come back on defense. Get into box for cross. And... Yes... That's it, come back on defense, get into box for cross. I was trying to have a look, guys, because last time I had stay wide. Um, and I think I had game behind, but I changed that. Because I don't think it's necessary, this patch. I don't know, this patch has changed a bit. Of, you know, I don't like these through balls anymore as much. So I'd like to play like this, guys. Come back on defense, get into box for cross. And come back on defense, gain to box for cross. Come back on defense to help us out in defense. Obviously, help track back and gain to box for cross. Because I want them to run up there and I want them to be at the back post, ideally, at all times. So gain to box for cross is very essential for that. Um, now, you have two sentiments. Now, this is where it gets a bit weird. I know some people have been telling me about this. Now, I would play like this. Stay back while attacking cover center. But, someone told me, don't do that, Tom. Get one player on balanced and cover center. Um, and I think stay on the edge of the box for cross. What this will do, guys, is we have one player that's going to help you recycle the ball outside the box. But they are not going to be necessarily pushing into it so much that they're basically not visible in the center mid position. So that's why we have one center mid like this. And we have one center mid like this. Stay back while attacking cover center to obviously help our two defenders in defense. Now, left back, right back guys are going to be on stay back while attacking. And then the goalkeeper on comes across the stay back while attacking. Quite a simple, guys, really, with the left back, right back. As per usual, you just want them there to help you support the defense. You don't need them to push up too much and run around. Just get them to sit back, do the job, go home, bish, bash, bosh. Let's get into the gameplay. Here we are, guys, with the 4-4-2 gameplay. Time to check out, you know, how this works, especially that whole Barella and Tonali partnership in the midfield. Um, where you have Tonali sitting back a bit further, but Barella, as you can see, can make those runs up there. 
as our opponent gets the ball back. I think this should help us get the 4-4-2 activated now. It does take some time to get activated. As you can see, Quadrado was still running up because he was on the balanced formation. But I did change the night. Yeah, I did. Um, here we are. Felipe Anderson making that round down the wing. We release uh, Felipe Anderson. Here we go. Beautiful turn. Pass into Barella, who's... Well, that's a very good red time shot. <laughs> um, stay on the edge of the box for cross was his instruction. As you can see, he was getting near it. This, I feel, what, who the hell just did that? Oh, shall we? It just feels like whatever you do, your player will still try and run into the box this year. I don't know how to get him to just sit outside at all times. Like, be that player that sits out. I mean, he is staying technically outside the box as I'm speaking. Oh, Koulibaly, that was dreadful, man. I should be able to cover that up. Beautiful. Turn. I don't know why I would pass there. Um, oh, ref referee, man. Have a look at yourself, man, and decide once again whether this is the job for you. And obviously, my opponent's going to go through thanks to that. Oh, my God, you've got to be kidding me. Oh, there's no way Messi wins ahead head over Koulibaly, guys. I think Teo Hernandez is acting up a bit. That's okay, or shall we? It's all right, boys. Listen. They are there to help support you. The whole comeback on defense on the left mid, right mid is very, very essential because what it really essentially does here is get your left mid, right mid to also come close without that silly instruction come short and then they're basically all over the place. It just gets them to come close at the right times because what they'll do is their natural position is to help out in defense now. As you can see, it was a bit more solid there from the 4-4-2 in terms of defending. Look at that, very solid and bang. We get the ball back and El Shrawi's there straight away and you can get the counter started, guys. That's why you need them there. Beautiful. Beautiful. Barella's on the outside of the box. Beautiful pass to Arnautovic. Arnautovic is working his magic to Dybala. Oh, I can't get... I can't turn again. Tonali, though, gets it back. Barella outside of the box. Back to Dybala. Dybala, I don't know. I don't, this guy's moving his keeper left, right, left, right, man. I swear to God. I can't decide where to shoot. Oh, come on. Oh, that would have been a good header as well. But the ball is there, guys. Look at this. The ball is there. Gonna run here. Green time that. Oh. The opponent's getting away with this, man. Really getting away with this. Ah, oh, should we get it? Bang, Barilla. Bang. Straight pass into the box. The ball would be there. But unlucky. As we get a ball back with Tonali, who's sitting back, guys. Fully sitting back, as you can see, at all times. Which is what I like to see. Barella's running into the box. Bang! Is that Barella, yeah? Come on, son. That's what I like to see. That's what I like to see. So my opponent is stalling on me here. Oh, what's he doing? You know what I'm playing, mate? Bang, and now to which... I don't know how Dybala... Dybala's actually staying all the way up there. Now, when I was testing this, he didn't do this as much. I don't know whether it's to do something with my opponent. But it feels like Dybala just doesn't want to leave that side. There we go. He did a bit more there. Oh, that's offside. So I'm just going to take a random shot. What? That was offside, right? That wasn't offside. I swear that was offside. Maybe just by an inch then. Because I was confident that's offside. Beautiful from Quadrado. Uh, for me, it's like if I think it's offside, like if I can have a hunch that it's offside, then I just. Well, I just assume I'm right. Dybala. Wow, of course. Yes. Yes, Kalo Navas. Good save, son. Don't want to see that, though. Oh, Tonali pushed up a bit more there. That's okay. Here we go. Screen yell. Should be able to deal with this. Look at the backline. Solid. Solid backline, guys. As we get Tonali, bang, working together on the 1-2. Release now, shall we? If the ref says this is offside, oh my god. What's wrong with me today, man? I know I'm getting packet loss now. But why is this ref against me? Varela, look at this. Arnautovic. Oh, the, he made the most common mistake anyone can make. Oh, come on, man. And I'm not able to finish. I'm just not able to finish. Okay, Arnautovic. Arnautovic on that. Boom! That's what I like to see, man. Nice little downward head. A big tackle from Tonali. Look at this, man. Oh, dismantling the opponent. 
What am I doing? What am I doing, man? What am I doing? It's like, it's like I'm not thinking, man. It's like I'm not thinking. Get that. Bang. El Shrawi. Bang on the green. Oh. On the green as well, man. On the green. Oh, there we go. Unlucky. Barella. He's been waiting for this. Boom. Oh. The bar Boom. Oh, it's offside apparently. But the opponent wants to quit. Guys, this is over the 4-4-2. Overwhelming. Yeah. Unbelievably tough to actually defend against. Because if you play the 4-4-2 right, if you play your cards right, you're always going to win these games, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope the 4-4-2 will help you. Um, some people ask me, is it good for squad battles? Is it good for this? It's good for query, query mode, I'd say. Squad battles, I don't know about the 4-4-2. It's not defensively solid enough. But guys, I have my squad battles tutorials, so make sure to check those out if you haven't already. I love you all. Until next time. Peace.